Alright. Excited ako dito. Maganda tong pag-usapan natin. Last time kasi, yung pinresent ko sa inyo, ano pa yun eh? Half cook pa yun eh. So, hindi ko pa siya buo talagang na i-put into um, presentation kasi nga sobrang dami. Medyo busy rin sa side ko. But now, today, uh, I will show you a full a full study of this one. And hopefully, makover ko siya lahat in 20 minutes para magkaroon pa tayo ng time for Q&A. Okay, if you have questions guys, please don't hesitate to ask me. And uh, I'll make sure na makover ko to at maging maliwanag as clear as I can. Alright, so I'll start in the prayer. <clears throat> Let's pray. My dearest Heavenly Father, Lord, today is the time that I will share this very important issue about the Bible. Repentance, dear God. My Lord, please continue to use me. Please, Lord, as I've uh, prepared this, I hope I could give the most important and utmost um, um, detail na dapat ko pong ibigay sa mga nais pong matuto sa inyong salita. Give them the wisdom or give me also the wisdom and knowledge to explain this, Lord, in a biblical way. And I hope, Lord God, at the end of the day, ikaw pa rin ang siyang mag-glorify. I praise you, dear God, and I glorify you in all of these things. And I wish to ask for your help in the leading of your spirit. I pray this in Jesus' name. Amen. Alright, so guys, like I mentioned, ano, this is a, a more of a extensive study. No? Kung medyo mabilis ako, let me know. But I will try to cover everything as much as I can. So as I've mentioned before, this is a very important concept in the Bible that every Christian should understand. Because there's a lot of confusion in this. There's a lot of uh, misunderstandings sa bagay na to. And uh, this will also help you personally no, sa inyong buhay sa pagiging Kristiyano. Okay? And you will understand also why some other Christians act the way they do. And they don't do the things that God expects them to do. So this is under the study of repentance. Okay? Proceed. So, ganun pa rin, pero I have elaborated most of this in in the context of meaning, importance, need, and the decision of Christians. So, M-I-N-D. Let's put this into mind, but of course, let's also put this into heart. So, the meaning. Let's start with the meaning. What is repentance? Now, na mention ko rin before about the the etymology of these things, no? I, I only use this for the sake of study. So you could also check the origin of the words. But then again, if you have a King James Bible with you, that's already a perfect word of God. Alright? Kasi alam nyo po, ang, ang, ang Greek at ang Hebrew, it has a lot of meanings. And it will always, it will also depend on the context. Kaya... Uh, hindi to talaga uh, absolute when I show you these meanings because nag iba, -iba siya sa mga verses. Now, if you will look at the Bible sa, sa Hebrew, merong nahum, merong shav. Okay? Yung nahum, it means to feel sorrow or to feel grievance at merong strong desire to change. Again, marami pang ibang meaning yan. Merong pang ibang meaning yan to comfort. etong shav naman, it, it's uh, to return or turn. It's a change of mind towards sin or forsaking of sin than obeying God. Okay? So, after this, ito naman yung Greek, yung metanoia. Yung metanoia, it is parang opposite. 180 degree turn. Parang U-turn talaga. It is a change of mind or, or thinking. So, you could check that out just for the sake of study. Pero again, you can just use the King James Bible and then check the meaning, the meaning on its context. Right? So, Let's proceed. Now, there are three categories para maintindihan po natin yung repentance. Ang isang category nito is that there is a general meaning which si God mismo, he used this or he repented in such a way na uh, hindi siya nagsisi sa kasalanan niya. Dahil obviously, God doesn't sin. But in the, in the context of um, uh, parang changing of his mind and feeling sorry for the things that... Uh, na ginawa niya. For example, yung Genesis 6.6, di ba? Sinabi niya doon that it grieved him. It repented the Lord. Yun yung pagkakasabi ng verse. That he made man on earth and it grieved him in his heart. 
Okay? So, may change of mind siya. The next verse, so, inayos siya uli yung mundo. Okay? And then, yung Jeremiah 18, 7-10, dyan, he changed his mind toward his approach sa Israelites. Okay? So, sa pangalawang kategory naman nito is for the unsaved. Men's repentance. Yung mga unsaved or hindi ligtas, paano sila mag-repent? Paano sila nire-require mag-repent? Right? So, sinabi dyan sa Luke 13 verse 3 na si Jesus Christ, except ye repent, ye shall perish. So, he's talking to the unsaved. Sabi naman dyan sa Acts 11 verse 18, When they heard these things, they held their peace and glorified God, saying, Then had God also to the Gentiles granted repentance unto life. So, sa ating mga Gentiles, nag-grant din yung repentance. Now, sa 17.30 naman ng Acts, The times of this ignorance God winked at, but now commanded all men everywhere to repent. Sa Acts 20.21 naman, testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greeks. So, this is for the Jews and for the Gentiles, repentance toward God and faith to our Lord Jesus Christ. So, for the unsaved, iba po siya from the unsaved and for the saved men. So, sa saved, iba po ang repentance niyan. It concerns your relationship with God. It concerns your fellowship with God. Now, in dito sa Acts 26.20, makikita nyo dyan na binanggit yung repentance to the Gentiles that they should repent and turn to God. Then, kama, do works meet for repentance. Hindi ko sinasabi na Ang repentance, it includes works. But you got saved first and then meron kang repentance na nagpapakita at nagmamanifest. Right? I'll explain that further later para mas maging malinaw. Sa Romans 12 verse 2, makikita nyo dyan na sinabi ng Bible, Be not conformed to this world, but be transformed. Na-transform yung renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now, sa 1 John 1, 6-10, to, to dyan naman na-mention yung fellowship mo with God. Na sinasabi, if you have fellowship with Him, but walk in darkness, parang we lie. We lie to ourselves, not, not only to God. And do not the truth. Pero if we walk in the light, because He's in the light, we have fellowship with one another. So, yung good relationship between you, and as I illustrated it, it's like an illustration of being a father to, to your son. Okay, being a son to your father. Okay? May go, meron kayong good relationship. Meron kayong magandang pagsasama. So, that's why na-mention sa bandang uh, verse 8 na if we say we have not sinned, we deceive ourselves. So, if we confess our sins, He's faithful and just to forgive us our sins. So, hindi rin totoo yung hyper-grace teaching na sinasabi na we need not, we have no, uh, wala tayong dapat pa, pagsusori-sori ng kasalanan or asking forgiveness of sin because it's 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 not just because na napatawad na lahat ni God yung ating kasalanan but because you have to fix your relationship with God and uh, you can also do that by asking forgiveness okay so merong natures ang repentance now when touching the mind ang nature ng repentance according to Matthew 21 okay Matthew 21 28 to 31 John na mentioned yung story. If you remember the story, there, there was a certain man that had two sons. Yung isang son, inutusan niya to go. Uh, pare sila inutusan to go. So, yung unang son, sabi dyan sa uh, Matthew 21, Son, go to work today in my vineyard. He answered and said, sabi nung anak, I will not, sabi niya. But afterward, he repented and went. Nagpunta pa rin siya, kahit sinabi niyang no. So, touching the mind, there is a, a, a change of mind. Okay? There's a change of mind. So, yung touching the emotions, there is also emotions na ano dito, affected. Affected ang emotion po talaga. In 2 Corinthians 7, 9, na mention dyan at, Now I rejoice, not that ye were made sorry, but that ye sorrowed to repentance. You felt sorrow. Now, I'll be more specific dyan later on. Yung sorrow na yun, it's godly sorrow. Sinabi rin dyan sa 2 Corinthians 7, 9, For ye were made sorry after a godly manner. Okay? That he might receive damage by us in nothing. 
Now, as touching the will, syempre may free will tayo, itong repentance, it is in 1 Thessalonians 1.9 sinabi, For they themselves show of us what manner of entering we uh, in we had unto you, how ye have turned to God from idols to serve the living and true God. So there is an effect to the will na nag-decide ka to remove or to, to forsake those things na mali, those things na like your sins. Okay? So, ang meaning niya, ito po, mas, madal, mas madali tong matatandaan in this verse, you just uh, use as two simple meanings, godly sorrow and the worldly sorrow or the sorrow of the world. Sinabi sa 2 Corinthians 7, 9 to 10, Now I rejoice, not that ye were made sorry, but that ye sorrowed to repentance. For ye were made sorry after a godly manner, that ye might receive damage by us in nothing. For godly sorrow worketh to repentance, or worketh repentance to salvation, not to be repented of. Notice here, ano? Yung godly sorrow, it's connected to salvation. Yung godly sorrow, work it repentance to salvation. Not to be repented of. Kaya hindi mo siya ulitin. Not to be repented of. Okay? You do not repeat this. Hindi mo siya pagsisisihan uli. Kasi nga, once you got saved, you are saved for eternity. But the sorrow of the world, work it death. That's a different kind of um, sorrow. And I'll explain it in this slide. So, ang godly sorrow, you'll think of it as this way. You are sorry of what you are, not what you've specifically done. Okay? That's godly sorrow. You feel sorry of what you are. You are a sinner. Okay? You feel sorry dahil ikaw ay makasalanan. Pero ang worldly sorrow naman, you feel sorry for what you've specifically done. The sins that you've done. In specific. That's worldly sorrow. Okay? Here's an example. Si Isaiah, sinabi niya, Woe is me, for I am undone. Parang I'm useless. I'm not finished. Wala akong kwenta. Now, si Job naman sinabi niya sa 42 verse 6, Wherefore I abhor myself and repent in dust and ashes. Notice how they feel sorry for their, for their sins, for, the, for, their, uh, for being sa kanila mismo as themselves. That's how it is connected din sa salvation. Na if you really feel sorry of who you are as a sinner, then you, then you turn to God for salvation. That's how you get saved. Okay? That's how you get saved. You feel sorry for who you are. Now, for the worldly sorrow, manunotice nyo dito sa story ni Judas Iscariot in Matthew 27. Then Judas, which had betrayed him, when he saw that he was condemned, repented himself. Nagrepent siya, di ba? Okay? So, is he saved? Definitely not. And brought again the 30 pieces of silver to the chief priests and elders, saying, I have sinned. Mo, no? If you mention those words lang pala, I have sinned. But you, you didn't really repent the right way. That's a wrong kind of repentance. I have sinned in that I have betrayed the innocent blood. And so on in verse 5, departed and went and hanged himself. That's a wrong way to repentance because you didn't repent toward God. You just felt sorry of what you did. So here's the importance of this one. Okay? Here's the importance of repentance. Why is it important? First of all, because it's granted, it's a gift, and it is something that God wants you to have. Okay? In Acts 11 verse 18, the Bible said, When they heard these things, they held their peace and glorified God, saying, God also to the Gentiles granted repentance unto life. It is given. It's a gift. Parang eternal life. It's a gift. You don't work for it. You just receive it. Okay? And God will give it to you if you ask for it, of course. And another thing is that it is commanded. That's why it's important. You have to repent. In Acts 17.30, God said that all men everywhere to repent. It is toward God and toward the Lord Jesus Christ. When you repent, sabi ng Acts 20.21, testi testifying both to the Jew and also to the Greek, Repentance toward God, toward God, and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. It is important today because it can save either the Jew or Gentiles. Na mention dyan sa Acts 26 verse 30, uh, na yun nga, it's for the Jew and for the Gentiles. 
Now, one more thing is that all should repent. It is for all. It is not for the, just the chosen people. Just for the elect. No, it's not that. It's for all. 2 Peter 3.9 said, The Lord is not slack concerning His promise, as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us word, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. That is very essential. It's for all. Now, alam nyo po, kung titingnan nyo ang buong Bible, magugulat kayo. The first book of uh, the Bible written, that is the book of Job, it's not Genesis. It's the first book written is Job. It tells you about repentance. Job 42 verse 6. Just check out those references for your own time. Uh, hindi enough ang time ko to check everything. The peak and prosperity ng Israel, nung time ni Solomon, <clears throat> na mention niya ang repentance. That's in 1 Kings 8.47. Sa New Testament, pagpasok na preaching ni John the Baptist, he preached about repentance. Sa first word ni Jesus na na-mention niya, na nag-preach siya, it's in Matthew 4.17, it's about repentance. In the entire Bible, Jesus preached repentance more than anything else. You will notice that in Matthew, Mark, and Luke. In the first commission na binigay ni Jesus Christ sa mga disciples, sa mga apostles, sinabi niya, about repentance. When the church in Acts officially started, you notice Peter preaching repentance. Okay? In his sa historical change where the Gentiles can receive salvation in Acts 11, na mentioned din dyan ang repentance. At on today's gospel, it is still essential. You cannot remove repentance, my brothers and sisters. It is part of salvation. And I will be more specific. I'm not referring to the work na repent for every sin that you did. No, I'm not referring to that. Of who you are. Sabi ko nga, godly sorrow. The Bible said, okay, it's part of the gospel. Repentance. Ito mga maling view sa repentance. Okay? Ang repentance daw is sorrow or crying lang. Alam niyo po, maraming, maraming uh, examples sa Bible na umiyak. They feel sorrow, they, they cry, but it's not really repentance. Itong sa Hebrews 12, 17, ano, basahin ko po sa inyo. For ye know how that afterward, when ye would have inherited the blessing, he was rejected. For he found no place of repentance, though he sought it carefully with tears. Si Isaw. Story ni Isaw. Umiyak siya, he grieved. Nisip kasi ng iba, no? Pag ikaw ay nag-grieve, you, you really cried, nag ka na. No, it's not just like that. Even though you have so many tears, mangyak ka isang linggo, but walang repentance talaga, that's different. Repentance is penance daw. Now, hindi po penance ang repentance. Now, this is more popular in the Catholic circle. Ang penance is yung, yung <clears throat> babayaran mo ang iyong kasalanan Kung either gagawin mo yung ganito, you pray the rosary, you confess, and then eventually, they go to the extent na sasaktan nila yung sarili nila at papako nila yung sarili nila. That's not repentance. You will not you will not do or gain repentance by doing such. In Matthew 27.3, mababasa nyo dyan, si Judas, he betrayed himself at he even hanged himself, but he did not repent the right way. Isa pang mali sa repentance. Repentance is what you do. Hindi po. Repentance sa Bible is granted. Sa Ephesians 2.8, sinabi dyan na, For by grace you are saved through faith. Faith is a gift. Okay? Remember that. Faith is a gift just like repentance is a gift. It's granted. Acts 11.18. Right? Repentance with insincerity. Now, dito pumapasok kasi yung mga yung katulad ng easy believism yung yung bang just repeat after me repeat this prayer and then you're saved no no hindi po ganon uh, it is a wrong view and it will produce uh, false converts saying na okay I've won I've won a soul to Christ no delikado po yun tingnan nyo po as ah, Exodus 9:27 Pharaoh sent and called for Moses and Aaron and said unto them I have sinned sinabi niya no I have sinned this time, the Lord is righteous and I and my people are wicked. So, pinabayaan nga niyo yung mga tao. Pero eventually, pag binasa niyo po yung story nun, sinu- sinundan niya. Okay? Sin- sinundan niya yung mga ano, Israelites at sinubukan pa rin niyang kunin. There's no real repentance. 
Now, repentance has no change in attitude towards sin, sabi ng iba. That's not correct. Repentance has a change in attitude towards sin. I will repeat that. Repentance has a change toward the attitude or your attitude towards sin. Sinabi ng 2 Corinthians 7, 10 to 11, For godly sorrow worketh repentance to salvation, not to be repented of. Okay? But the sorrow of the world worketh death. Now, sinabi po sa verse 11, For behold, this self same thing that ye sorrowed after a godly sort, what carefulness it wrought in you. Yeah, what clearing of yourselves. Notice ha, carefulness. Naging mas careful ka na sa kasalanan. What clearing of yourselves. Okay, you're trying to clear yourself from the wrong things na alam mo, nakikita mo na ngayon by reading the book, by, by knowing about God. What indignation. You feel now indignation about sin. You feel fear in sin. What vehement desire, what zeal, yeah, what revenge. In all things, ye have approved yourselves to be clear in this matter. Now, you have this thought and attitude towards sin na nag-iba na. Don't tell me na ikaw ay tumanggap sa Panginoong Jesus, you said that He's your Savior, but your attitude towards sin is the same? That's not real. There's no repentance in that. There's no repentance. Imagine mo, no? may, may taong, may taong uh, uh, mamamatay tao, okay? And then, sabi mo, okay, uh, this is how to get saved. Believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. Sabi nung mamamatay tao, okay, I believe. I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. But after you left, he just killed another person without grievance sa kanyang ginawa, without, without regret sa kanyang uh, na, na isip. He did not really repent. There's no repentance in him. Okay? There's a change or attitude, change in the attitude towards sin. Alright, repentance is forsaking sins in specifics. Now, dito naman na pumapasok yung Lordship Salvation. Uh, I want to be more clear dito, no? I'm not uh, defining and I'm not for Lordship Salvation. Ang Lordship Salvation kasi, it tells you na you have to clear yourselves from specific sins muna bago ka maligtas. Kunyari, you are a fornicator. You have this problem with uh, uh, pornography. You have problem with uh, uh, liquor, uh, smoke. You have to remove everything first before you believe. No, that's not the way to get saved. That's not the way you get saved. It is also possible, I'm telling you, it is also possible that you have, you've, you've been saved, but you still have some of those sins in you. you might, it, it may be possible. But of course, there's a change of attitude toward that. And eventually, unti-unti mo matatanggal yung mga kasalanan yun. Because you know, uh, you have this godly sorrow, okay? And uh, you have really repented toward God. So it's not, uh, it's, uh, ang error sa repentance dito, repentance is forsaking sins in specifics. Especially in getting saved, ano? you don't repent on every sin to get saved. No. It just tells you na hindi po specific sins ang minimension natin dito. Alright? So, eto po yung isa. Repentance is difficult and complicated. Actually, ang repentance po, it is, it is an easy matter. If God wants you to get saved, if God wants people to get saved, He will make, it, will, he will make it easy for them. Hindi po komplikado ito. Sa 2 Corinthians 11.3, na-mention po dyan, na-mention dyan that for by any means, as a serpent beguiled Eve through his subtlety, so your minds should be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. There's, there is simplicity. There is simplicity in the gospel. Right? So here, I'll go to the need. Now, ang need or necessity ng repentance is that repentance is involved before believing. It's before believing. Makikita nyo yan sa Matthew 21 verse 32. Nauna ang repentance before believing. Okay? Sa repentance of sins, it's in line with forgiveness of sins. You will see that in Luke 24 verse 47. Now, ang repentance is with signs of good works. Na-mention ko kanina na uh, it produces good works. 
it produces, it naturally produces good works. Sa Acts 26.20, do works meet for repentance. So, there is this uh, effect, o kaya uh, parang aftermath ng pagiging saved mo. You suddenly do good things, like you read your Bible, you started to pray, you started to have this compassion for souls, especially for your loved ones, no? Because there is natural to lalabas, lalo na if ikaw ay saved. Okay? The fruits of the Spirit, ka nga rin. Repentance to escape damnation. It is necessary because this will make you escape damnation because Jesus said in Luke 13.3 that uh, if ye do not repent, likewise you, you shall perish. Repentance is commanded by God. Okay, na-mention ko na yan kanina. And repentance is God's core burden. If there is this burden ni God, especially sa ating panahon ngayon sa church age, God is not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance. Alright, so now, on this last few parts, the decision. If a person is not willing to repent, then he or she is not ready to be saved. I've mentioned that if a person is not willing to repent, then he's not yet in the position that he wants to get saved. He wants forgiveness. <coughs> Excuse me. He has to feel first that he he needs forgiveness. He's a sinner. He's he's undone. Okay, so he has to repent. Or he or she has to repent. Now, biblical repentance is a change of mind toward God and sin that results in a change of life. Again, do not confuse this with. Um, good works na kailangan kong gawin muna to, kailangan tanggalin ko muna to, this and that, para ako ay masave. No, that's not the way to get saved. There has, uh, that is, you can do that after you get saved. Sometimes, merong mga tao na ganito talaga, no? When they got saved, they read, they had this change of mind agad, they, they forsake agad their, their liquor, they forsake agad their smoking and their sins because that's how, how gra grave they feel about their sins. So, yun nga. We do not expect na mawawala agad lahat ng kasalanan ng isang Kristiyano after he got saved. Okay? We do not expect that. Even in in 1 Corinthians, mapapansin nyo doon, meron pa nga mga fornicators eh. Meron pa doon mga Kristiyano na kinol out ni Paul because they are doing incest. Grabe. But still, they got saved. Because uh, uh, it's not, it's not, forsaking of individual sins ang makakapag-save sa kanila. It's the gospel that saved them. Okay? Now, if you are sorry of what you what you are, not only of what you've done, go turn to Jesus. Kaya sinabi dyan, testifying both to the Jews and also to the Greek, repentance toward God and faith toward our Lord Jesus Christ. So if we preach the gospel, if we tell people about the gospel. We tell them how to get saved, but of course, you have to to make them see how great a sinner they are. You have to make them realize uh, how how great of a need ng salvation meron dapat sila. Okay? So that's how it is.